So realizing essential aspirations, I'm going to read this, uh, the heart of this pattern, the description that's given on the card and the web page, uh, and then explore some of the exemplary uh, methodologies related to that, uh, to this particular dynamic, this pattern. So when adversaries or communities identify underlying motivators that make sense to everyone involved, they become able to transcend their surface differences to co-create shared paths forward. So help people realize essential, deeply felt principles, interests, needs, values, goals, or narratives that generate trust and joint action for mutually satisfying broadly beneficial outcomes. So this is uh, evoking and engaging the wisdom and resourcefulness of the whole on behalf of the whole. This is one of the patterns that most essentially uh, represents that dynamic, embodies that whole dynamic. Uh, and I've noticed for some time that the, the practice of nonviolent communication, which is the oversimplified version of nonviolent communication is you take what some, the expressed desire or proposal or demand of somebody, uh, you know what, uh, what emotions are underlying that, are pushing that, and then look for the needs that are being unmet that cause that to be their proposal and the energy around it. Uh, and then figure out other ways to satisfy that need and the needs that they work with in NBC are universal needs, you know, love, community, food, whatever, all the things that everybody needs. Some form of that is driving whatever proposal uh, or demand they have. Um, so NBC is a practice of uh, empathizing, of, of sensing into what people are, are feeling and needing and uh, clarifying that and then exploring what um, what could be done that would be that would satisfy that need in ways that work. NVC is often used in conflict situations, uh, and is especially useful for that. A um, couple of decades before, I read a book called Getting to Yes, uh, which is about a thing called principled negotiation, and it has a very similar kind of feel to it. You, negotiation is usually you're on that side of the table, I'm on this side of the table. We're both trying to get as much as we can out of the, uh, out of the whatever deal we come up with uh, and give up as, less, as little as we want to give up. Uh, and so there's a lot of secrecy and gaming that's going on in most traditional negotiation. And the folks who wrote the book said in principled negotiation, we're both sitting on the same side of the table. We're clarifying the legitimate interests that both of us have. So what are your legitimate interests in here? What are my legitimate interests in this situation? And there's specific things about what makes a legitimate interest. And then we together are gonna figure out how to create something that satisfies both of those legitimate interests or all of those legitimate interests. It has a very similar feeling to NBC. It's dealing with interests instead of needs, but there's a, we are together figuring out something that is deeper than the demands we come up with. Uh, and out of that common ground, uh, we, can, we can do it, uh, we can come up with something. And one of the main, one of the leaders in nonviolent communication, Mickey Kashtan, created a decision-making process she calls um, convergent facilitation in which people are clarifying what principles, if, if we came up with a solution that met this, this set of principles, it would be a solution that would be acceptable to everybody. So we're going to clarify those principles. There's a whole process to go about figuring out what those principles are. And they talk about those principles are the non-controversial essence uh, of this, um, of the situation that we're looking at and what solution might be. Um, so that's another different approach, but again, and the image that we have here is of this, these roots shaking hands between these two trees, there's a sense of the underlyingness. There's something deeper 
where we can meet. Uh, and it is, it is connected to what actually needs to happen and what we can work on together. Uh, it's, not, it's not about compromise. It's about uh, seeing what will work for everybody that actually satisfies the needs that they want. There are a whole category of community visioning processes where we pull together many different players in the community or many different stakeholders in a conflict or situation and say, what, what do we really want? What is, what is our common ground in terms of what we want where we can come together? What story are we, can we tell ourselves about how we're living together that will help us work together? Um, there's a process called Story Bridge, which involves people creating individual and shared dramas uh, or, or stories, talking about stories of things that have happened to them uh, that represent something that's really important to them. Uh, and weaving that more and more into a large vision that the whole community can share and then playing out that drama before the whole community and then having discussions about it, et cetera. Uh, there's a practice called Theory U, which is delving deeply, letting go of more and more of your assumptions and reactions into feeling what really is needed in this situation, what is calling, us to calling on us to happen, and then trying out ways to, uh, to do that uh, together sort of testing, let's try this, let's try that. But again, you're acting together, having gone to a deep place. Uh, and so all of these you have in this list and the pattern, you know, essential deeply felt principles, interests, needs, values, goals, narratives, the common ground, the deeper common ground is what this is talking about. And there's a, all of these things are motivational things you know, things that have a, uh, a direction, a vector to them that we can all step into and work together. And the specifics of what we do is less important than the fact that it serves all our life energies. It's all, it's all going in a direction that we all value.